Hi, Eric here. I'm going to show you how to import your distributors and customers into Teamz. Now follow along with me as I give you these instructions. So first, to get a copy of your distributors list, I want you to log on to your back office. Okay, and once you're there, click on My Team Data. My Team Data. Okay. Now click on Search My Team. Search my team. Third, choose the level. Uh, we recommend you, you bring in your first level distributors. Okay, now you may want to bring in more. That's up to you, but definitely get your first level in there. Number four, click on format. It's at the bottom of the screen. Click on format. Now what you're going to do is you're going to choose all the data fields you want to bring into Teamsy. Okay, so just click all the data fields that you want. When we get into Teamsy, I'll explain in a little bit um, some of the data fields don't exist in Teamsy, but you can keep them in the notes on each person's record. Number six, click return to next step. Okay, return to next step. Great. Now click run report. It's on the bottom left. Okay, and this will download an Excel sheet to your computer of the report that we just pulled. Okay, all right, so you've got that one done. Now what I want you to do is open that file. Okay, just open it right up. It'll open in Excel. If you don't have Excel, um, you may have to open it in another in a free program like Google Sheets. But what I want you to do once you've opened it is delete all the data above your header line. The header line is the line that says things like arrow, number, first name, last name, etc. Those are your headers. There's just a bunch of gobbledygook before that. So you want to delete all of that data so that the header lines is the first piece of data. Okay? All right. And then one more thing that we need to do on that file is save as a CSV. So currently that file is an Excel spreadsheet. It's a .xls file. You want to just do save as .csv to your desktop. Okay? Great. So now that one is ready to go. Now let's talk about how to get your customer list from back office. Okay, so again, log on to your back office. That's step one. Then click on My Customers. Now click on Customer Search and Follow Up. All right. Now, from here, click on Advanced Customer Search. It's just like the other one, right? Click on Format at the bottom of the screen. And then again, choose all the data fields you want to bring into Teamsy. Okay? Great. Now, if you have more than 3,000 customers, this is for you guys with big teams. If you have more than 3,000 customers, change the number under limit the number of results to because it's going to limit your export to 3,000 people. If you have less than 3,000 people, you don't have to do anything with this. It's fine. Okay. Next, uh, re click return to next step. Okay. Click return to next step. All right. Now click run report. This again, bottom left, run report. This will download an Excel sheet to your computer. Okay, now we're going to we're going to do the same work with the Excel sheet. We're going to open that file and we're going to delete all the random data that's above the header line. Okay? Great. And then finally save that file as a CSV again to your desktop. Okay? Now both files are ready to go, ready to import into Teamsy. Now I'll teach you, I'll show you how to get in get them imported into Teamsy. So, for, let's start with your distributors. Okay? Start with your distributors first. The reason we do distributors first is because we want to make sure if anybody's repeated that they go into the right category. So go back to Teamsy, go to the Team page, it's the left hand side of Teamsy, click on Team, and then click the Import button. Okay? Now it's going to ask you to find your file, so select the CSV file you just prepared with your distributors. Okay? And that's going to start importing it. Now once it brings the, that file in, you're going to see some options. Where it says Member Type, I want you to select Distributors. Okay, and this will assign this list to your distributors list inside Teamsy. Okay, now click continue. Now they're going to show you a, a page where they're mapping your columns. Okay, so what we want to do is we want to make sure that each data field is properly mapped. In other words, first name goes to name, um, first name, last name goes to last name, email goes to email, that kind of thing. We want to make sure it's mapped correctly, so go on down. Wherever you see a red X, you've got a couple choices. You can either um, make you know if you if it's a field that exists, you can assign it, or you can just ignore it if it's not some data that you want, or you can assign it to contact notes from the dropdown. Okay, and this is where you're going to put all the data that you want to keep that doesn't have a field in Teamsy. You're going to put it in contact notes. So when you go to that person's contact in Teamsy, all that data will be there every time you look at them. It's perfect. Now click continue once you're done with that. Okay. 
and that will bring your distributor list into Teamsy, easy peasy. Now we're gonna get your customer list. So we're gonna go back through the same process. Go back to Teamsy, the team page, okay? Click on import. Now select the CSV you just prepared with your customers, okay? This time under member type, you're gonna click customers, okay? So they go to the right place. And then click continue. And again, the same notes on mapping columns. Make sure all the data fields are, are, are properly mapped when you see a red X, either select the correct field, select ignore, or assign it to contact notes from the dropdown. Okay? And click continue. And that's it. That's how you do it, guys. That's how you get your um, distributors and how you get your customers imported into Teamsy. Your next step now will be getting your Facebook friends in. There's another video for that. Thank you guys for watching. Have an awesome day.